Um, I do want to talk a little bit of boxing with you because you recently had to sit down with uh with with with, with Big Baby. Um, two year suspension from boxing. We've been hard on 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 Big Baby in the past. Um, but just just talk to me about mentally where he's at and in, in, in dealing with the with the suspension. I mean, he accepts the suspension. Uh, I spoke to him on the phone uh, a few days ago. Um, he, there were a lot of things going on behind the scenes with his lawyer as well as him, just about an appeal process, and and ultimately, he may not have to do the whole two years. You know, there's a there's a way that he could do potentially six months of, the, of those two of those uh, twenty four months. And um, you know, I know that Jarrell wants that very badly to get back into the ring. Um, he wants to fight, but he realizes that, you know, that's a process that has to take place. But also, um, he has expressed that what he was tested for, um, those chemicals didn't read right. And so part of his appeal process is actually kind of just a breakdown of what it was that he actually took. Um, and so you know, we're waiting for that. That's, that's, that's what he expressed to me when we spoke a few days ago. Did he speak about, I guess, missed opportunities? Did you guys, did you, about not, you know, the, the, the talk about that at all. So this is what happened. I'll I share this with you. Um, he was actually supposed to come on my show um, Thursday. And that was booked like a month in advance. The news came out Wednesday. So we were trying to figure out just, you know, no slight on him at all, like whether he should speak or just release a statement. And I, and, and we just came to a consensus, just give me a statement and we'll figure it out later. Um, so we kept it very brief. Um, he was honest with me, but we didn't, but honestly, we did not speak about, um, you know, the specifics as it relates to fighting and missed opportunity. Um, he just, you know, he said he wants the process to take its course. Um, you know, I wrote it in my column over at heavy.com where I'm a senior writer. Um, and, you know, he, he released a statement. I'm, I'm looking for it now on my phone as I'm talking to you. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I posted we're, we're, we're hard on him, but I think it's for me, it's more so it's a, it's a Brooklyn thing because I would like for him to do better. Anybody that's coming out of the city, but especially personally for me coming out of Brooklyn, I want you to win. You know what I'm saying? We got a tail tail female who's holding it down for Brooklyn right now in, in the sport of boxing. So I want that. I want everybody from the city to, to, to really go out there and put on, um, you know, so I really do hope that he can take this time off and use it as a tool to, 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 to refuel himself and come back bigger and better than ever, because you can't, you know, you get a shot at the, at the, at the world heavyweight championship. That's something that, you know, may not come back around. So I really hope that he can get it together. Did he, at any point when you guys spoke, um, did he talk about where he sees his current standing within the heavyweight division? Um, and also, as Tripp mentioned, you know, and, and you talked about it as well, as, as far as opportunities, you know, he tests positive, he misses the fight with Joshua, which leads to Andy Ruiz's major upset. Did he discuss either one of those two things when you guys spoke? Mm -mm. We literally talked on the phone for about minute, 32 minutes. Uh, we talked about the pros and cons of the show, uh, doing it that day. Um, we talked about some things with his family that I'll keep that in between us, but, but ultimately as it relates to like fighting, boxing, it was pretty much just about, um, you know, disappointed and, you know, hoping to get back in the ring, um, because he loves the sport of boxing and, um, really just getting to the root, getting to the root of the matter as it relates to what those substances were that he was being tested for and hoping to, you know, honestly come to a resolution, but what you asked definitely um it was it wasn't that long enough of a conversation and i think for me it's definitely like a middle ground because like you said Trip, you know i, I want to see him do well you know brooklyn is my adopted borough i that brooklyn brooklyn was like a field trip for me growing up you know brooklyn and queens i was between you know manhattan brooklyn westchester and jersey growing up but you know once a year queens and brooklyn it was like driving to virginia um, but you know, ultimately, you know, when, when I look at just Big Baby and what he represents, I think, um, you know, I think a lot of people want to see him do well, you know, and I think that, you know, missing that fight against Joshua and, and Madison Square Garden, could you imagine, like, losing? If he, if he had won that fight, man, if he shocked the world, like, oh, man. We would have been talking about a different bag. Yeah. That, you know, so definitely hope he gets, he gets everything together. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. 
and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Bye, the camp. Uh huh. This is Real yeah. Fans Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real